Hey everybody, it's Kyle from Anthem with today's Anthem Tech Tip Tuesday. Today we're going to discuss how to update your new Anthem receiver or processor with the new MRX X40 or AVM70, AVM90 processor. When you get your new product out of the box, you want to first get it connected to power and you want to get it connected to the network. So of course you can use either the Wi-Fi connectivity by adding the Wi-Fi antennas onto the back of the unit and then go through the process of setting it up on your Wi-Fi network using Apple AirPlay setup or using the Google Home setup for Wi-Fi. If you aren't using Wi-Fi, once you've connected power, always, always still put those wireless antennas on the back of your Anthem receiver or processor because it's also your Bluetooth receiver in the product. So when you want to stream Bluetooth music to it, you need to have those antennas connected. But since you're not using Wi-Fi, you're going to use a hardwired Ethernet connection. So go ahead and plug in the hardwired Ethernet connection to the back of the unit, and then it will reach out, find the IP address to your router, and assign an IP address to that hardwired Ethernet connection. Once you've done that, you now have the ability to update the unit. We would recommend doing this before you connect your source devices, your display devices, or any other ancillary devices, including your speakers, if it's a receiver, or your outboard amplifiers, if it's an AVM series processor. So once you've done that, and you're now on the network, go ahead and power the unit on. The first step is to find the IP address. Reference our video on how to find the IP address on your new Anthem product, so that way you can then enter the web user interface. Once you enter the web user interface through your favorite browser, you're gonna to go to the store load update section. Once you get to the store load update section, you're going to check for update. That will check for what we call the network module release version. Once it finds that update, you'll click OK so that we can continue to update the product. And that typically takes around a minute to two minutes depending on your network connection. During that time, don't worry about this. It is going to lose connection to the unit because it's updating over the network. And once the network update is finished, you can refresh the page, and now you'll see that the release version is on the latest version, which you can always reference against anthemav.com's latest version. When you go to your products page, go to reviews and downloads, go to the firmware change log area, so you can see the latest version of the network module version and the latest version of the MCU version, or what we call the host firmware version. After you've already identified that you are now on the latest release version for the network module version release using the web user interface, the next step of this process is to go to the front panel of the unit itself, and either use the buttons on the front panel or the remote control to navigate the menu. Go into the menu, go down to the store load update section, and do check for update. Select check for update. It now knows that it's on the latest network module version release. It will check the update that's now embedded into the receiver or the processor itself. And it will update what we call the MCU version or the host firmware version to ensure that you are on the latest version of firmware, both with the network module version released and the host MCU version. Again, you can always reference anthemav.com Go to your products page, go to reviews and downloads, and check the firmware change log to ensure that you're on the latest version of both.